Dr. Jen Ashton is here with a whole new crop of questions that you want answers to around the coronavirus. So the first question, Dr. Jen, is this. What constitutes a compromised immune system? Well, in general, when we talk about someone who's immunosuppressed or immunocompromised, we're talking about a wide group of people. People with cancer who are on the chemotherapy, pregnant women, that's an immune suppressed condition. People on high doses of long-term steroids, um, people with HIV or AIDS, uh, certain autoimmune conditions. I mean, the list really goes on and on, but I do hear on a regular basis from people who say, um, I have heart disease, do I have a compromised immune system? And for the most part, just having a chronic medical condition does not mean your immune system is necessarily compromised. Dr. Ashton, one more question here uh, from someone saying, I read that COVID-19 can live on a person's skin for nine hours. Is that true? It is true. Um, they did that study in a lab using a simulation of skin because it wouldn't be ethical to do it on real living people. Um, but again, this virus survives about nine hours on skin. Influenza, much less, according to experiments, only about one to two hours. But again, plenty of bacteria on our skin at all times. So when you talk about this virus or anything else, the key is... You say it, TJ. Come on. Yeah, come on. You have to wash your hands. You have to stay <laughs> clean. Wash you your go. hands. Hand hygiene. Yes. All sorry. right. <laughs> Dr. Jen, thank you so much. You can submit your questions to Dr. Jen on her Instagram at Dr. J Ashton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.